Hello to everyone, this is Mind Mastery, and today we want to take you on a journey of manifestation, mindfulness, and a better future. This video is for you if you're prepared to discover the mysteries of your mind and body and finally make good changes in your life. To ensure you don't miss any of our groundbreaking content, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we start. Now let's begin. To become the best version of yourself, you have to go on a trip full of self-discovery, challenges, growth, and change. Not just about getting somewhere, but also about enjoying how you change over time. Here's how you can help this road of change happen. Self-awareness and reflection start with knowing who you are at your core. Look closely at your hopes, fears, beliefs, and dreams. Journaling, yoga, and other self-awareness boosting activities can help you find your true self. Set definite goals. Figure out what your best self looks like on an emotional, professional, spiritual, and physical level. By making goals that are clear and doable, you give your trip a direction accept change and problems. Often, you have to leave your safe zone to grow. Accept new situations, even if they're hard or uncomfortable. They'll push you to your limits and show you new things. Take care of yourself first. Well-being on a physical, mental, and social level is essential. Make sure you move regularly, eat a balanced diet, practice mindfulness, and get enough rest. Take care of your body and mind because they are what will get you through this trip. Stay interested to learn throughout your life. The world is full of things to learn and do. Read a lot, go to workshops and classes, and talk to people from different backgrounds. When you learn more, you add more parts to your best self. Build good relationships. Hang out with people who make you feel good, push you, and help you. These relationships act like mirrors, showing you both your skills and areas where you can improve. They are very important to your growth. Accountability and continuity. The key to any change is consistency. Check your work often and make changes to your plans when you need to. Find a guide or someone who will help you stay on track. Develop your ability to bounce back from setbacks. Every trip has them. Instead of seeing them as mistakes, you should see them as chances to learn. Develop a strong mind that sees problems as stepping stones instead of roadblocks. Take stock of your blessings, big and small, on a daily basis. Not only does having a happy heart make you feel better, but it also puts you in tune with a positive frequency that brings more good into your life. Be real in everything you do. Stay true to yourself. Don't plan your life based on what other people want or what society says is right. Your best self is a unique mix of all the things you've done, thought, wanted, and dreamed. Ask for feedback and be willing to listen to it. Sometimes seeing things from the outside can help you see things you might have missed. Remember that becoming your best self is a journey, not a place you arrive at. It's about never stopping to learn, grow, and understand. By taking each moment and lesson as they come, you build the story of a full and real life. Change is the only thing that is always there. As you grow and change, your environment and situations will also change. Instead of fighting these changes, you should accept them. Know that every change you make brings you closer to the miracle-filled life you want. Living with thanks means always being aware of and appreciative of the many big and small gifts that life gives us. It's not just a thing you do, it's a way of being and a way of seeing the world. When we feel gratitude with all our hearts, it becomes a powerful force that grounds us, makes our lives better, and connects us deeply to the world around us. Being grateful doesn't mean denying that life has problems or is hard. Instead, it's about choosing to look at the good things, the things that are going well, and the beauty that can be found even in the worst times. This change in point of view can bring light to even the darkest conditions, showing the bright spots and lessons to be learned. Often, it's the little things that bring the most happiness, like the gentle warmth of the sun on your skin, a heartfelt talk with a loved one, or the comforting smell of a favorite meal. Seeing and appreciating the small miracles that happen every day can make a person's life full of joy. Being thankful isn't just a feeling, it's also something you do. Thank people often, whether you do it with words, actions, or both. It could be as easy as thanking someone for helping you, keeping a gratitude book, or doing nice things for people you don't know. Thankfulness spreads. When you live with gratitude, you show other people how to see the world in the same way. This result can make communities more positive and helpful, which is good for everyone's health. Being thankful isn't just good for the mind, it's also good for the body. Researchers have found that being grateful can help people sleep better, feel less stressed, have better immune systems, as well as lower their blood pressure. On an emotional level, it can improve your happiness, make you stronger, and make your relationships stronger. When you have an attitude of gratitude in your relationships, 
you focus on what's good about the other person. This leads to a deeper connection and mutual respect. Seeing and appreciating the love, support, and kindness of others makes ties stronger and improves the well-being of relationships. Gratitude helps you stay in the present. It makes you more aware of the present moment and tells you to enjoy it, no matter what it is. This sense of being rooted can make people happier and help them enjoy the journey of life more. Taking time to think about your blessings on a daily basis can make you feel more thankful. You could do this by keeping a gratitude journal or focusing on what you're grateful for every day. Life isn't easy, but even in hard times, there are often lessons to be learned or chances to grow. Gratitude helps you see problems as stepping stones instead of roadblocks, which makes it easier to deal with the complicated parts of life. To live with gratitude, you don't need to make big changes. Instead, you need to make small, constant changes in how you think and act. By having this attitude, you not only improve your own happiness, but you also help make the world a more caring, appreciative, and happy place. The deep-seated need to bond is at the heart of how humans have changed over time. The collective awareness is a larger network that goes beyond the ties of family, friendship, and community. This shared pool of information, experiences, and feelings shows how our lives and goals are connected. To really succeed, it's important to not only be aware of this group, but also to connect deeply with it. The idea of collective awareness says that we as a species share a set of beliefs, ideas, moral attitudes, and knowledge. This shared mind is shaped by things like social norms, culture traditions, past occurrences, and more. By being aware of it, we can see that we are a part of something much bigger than ourselves. When one person feels something, it sends waves through the group. All people feel emotions, whether they're happy, sad, angry, or in love. We can feel the emotional currents of the larger human experience by tapping into our natural empathy. This helps us build bridges of understanding and kindness. The knowledge that people have gained over thousands of years is stored in the collective consciousness. By getting in touch with it, we can use lessons from the past, ideas from different cultures, and the deep knowledge of many generations. When people come together with the same goal or goal in mind, the effects can be very powerful. This combination can lead to new ideas, art that changes the world, and movements that change the course of events. The power of people working together is one of a kind. When many minds and hearts focus on the same goal or idea, the energies come together and make it easier to make it happen. This is clear in group exercises, mass protests, and projects run by the community as a whole. When we connect with the group, we start to break down the barriers that are made up because of race, religion, country, or socioeconomic status. We start to understand that at our heart, we are all one species that is linked to each other. To be part of the group is to celebrate differences. It's about immersing yourself in different cultures, customs, and points of view to learn more about the world and what we all have in common. Even though our backgrounds and life stories are different, many of our dreams and goals are very similar. Recognizing these common goals helps people work together to reach their common goals. 